everybody, I'm Rick Beato. In this episode of Everything Music, we're going to talk about 12-tone triads. Okay, this is a concept that I came up with about 30 years ago when I was studying tone rows in serial music. Maybe it was more than 30 years ago. Um, about how tone rows aren't supposed to have any type of uh, in serial music. We're going we're gonna to do some episodes on that, but the unifying concept is that there's no real key centers in 12-tone music. So my idea was, well, are there formulas for actually creating tone rows where you don't repeat any notes of the chromatic scale, but you actually are using things like triads or seventh chords? And of course, obviously there are. I just played you one. Um, I can play another one. So if I go like... Okay, that was a 12-tone row. Now, how do I know that was? Because I have a formula that I'm following here. Um, one of the formulas is... For C minor, D minor, E major, and F sharp major. All 12 notes are represented in those four triads. They can be played in any order. I can play D minor, F sharp major, E major, C minor. F sharp major, D minor, C minor, E major. Okay? You can play a line F sharp major, D minor, E major, C minor. And they sound cool over pedals, okay? That's a great sound, especially since I, I ended with a uh, F sharp major over C uh, bitonal chord there, so. Okay, you can also play them as chords. Now, you can also play them as polychords, if you'd want. You could play... I just played all 12 notes right there in two chords, two polychords. I played in the first polychord, F sharp major over C major, and the second one I played E major over D minor. Now, um, for those of you that saw uh, the video I did with Dylan where he's writing the notes out, I used a 12-tone triad um, as one of the chords, uh, um, and it was this. Now, Dylan didn't know it was a 12-tone triad because he hasn't watched this episode yet, and I've never mentioned this to him. But what I did there was I played the chords... D flat sus4 and F Lydian, and then I played the chords E flat major and D sus2, and that creates a 12 tone row. Okay, so if you take those notes, D flat, G flat, A flat, F, uh, C, F, B, E flat, G, B flat, D, E, A is a 12 tone row. Um, there are many ways to come up with formulas in which to do these, and these can be really, really cool for your composing, for linear playing, if you're playing over a pedal tone, right? Another uh, 12 tone triad that you can do, I have a bunch of them in my book, in my Beato book, but. There's a formula that, that includes all four uh, groups of, of triads, major, minor, diminished, and augmented. So I'm going up C augmented, B diminished, F sharp minor, E flat major. So I'm going up C augmented, coming down B augmented, then F sharp minor, E flat major. So C augmented, B diminished, E flat major, F sharp minor. These are all creating 12 tone triads. I can do the same thing that I did before where I will play, I'm playing F sharp minor over C augmented. And I'm going to resolve to E flat major over B diminished. Okay, so right there, I've just given you all the 12 notes, a 12, 
12 tone row and two chords. They're really great poly chords. So this can also be used in linear writing. If you're writing lines, let's say over a jazz groove. Here's an example of four triads. This is our 12 tone triad exercise number one. And it's going C minor to D minor to E major to F sharp major. Now I'm going to first do it over a C pedal so you can hear what it sounds like in lines. So that is the four trads. It's doing triplets, da ba do da da do da 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 um, with different accents. I, I mixed it up so the accents are not on the downbeat of each one. So it needs to have some type of a rhythmic movement with it with uh, displaced accents. Listen to it again. Now, we could also play it with a different accompaniment. This is with a little bit more complex left hand accompaniment. One more time. That's, those are 12 tone rows, okay? But they're using two minor chords a whole step apart and two major chords a whole step apart. The next exercise is using four triads, F Lydian to D flat sus four to E flat major to D sus two. Okay, that's what it sounds like over a C pedal. Check it out. This is what it sounds like with a little bit of left hand accompaniment. I'll give it to you again. So that's four completely different triads. We have a sus4 triad, a sus2 triad, a major triad, and a Lydian triad. The last example is going to be over four more different chords. We're gonna go C sus4 to D Lydian to B flat diminished to B major. Once again, I'll play it over a C pedal. C sus4, D Lydian. B flat diminished, B major. Here's an example of it over pedal. Play it again. Here's an example of it with comping. Again. I ended with a chordal voicing, G, uh, G chordal, so I go G, C, F over A, which would be like an Aeolian sound. So that is 12 tone triads. These are also great to be used with ear training and I will get into that more uh, in my ear training series where I talk about 12 tone triads. This is actually a concept that I developed for soloing, writing, and for ear training because when you have these notes that, are, that include all 12 notes of the chromatic scale in four chords, this is actually a good way to start training your ear to hear all 12 of those notes. It just happens to sound cool too. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. And if you're interested in the Beato book, write me at rickbeato1 at gmail.com. I'm Rick Beato. Thanks for watching.